guys. Got a cool, cool thing I want to talk about today. Uh, sponsor of this video is Clan HQ. And if you guys are unfamiliar, what Clan HQ is, is a messaging app. But what is amazing about it is that it has tons and tons and tons of cool features, including integrations for all your favorite games. It makes it even easier to find people. You go, they have this tab right here, recruiting. You click on this, you can look around. There's some ads here looking for members, looking for groups, but then it gets really crazy. You click on the search, you go ahead in here and you say, oh, this just looks like a regular search. But bam, you pick Marvel Strike Force, come in here and you can look for people based on all of these values. So imagine, imagine being able to find somebody say, man, I just want somebody who's above 3.5 million total collection power. And you don't even have to like get them to send you screenshots or anything else. You just type it in here and it pulls up the whole list. It is amazing. If you're interested in this, I think it is amazing. And you guys want to get in on it, please do. It is uh, Clan HQ, got it on Android and Apple products. They're amazing. I have made a very large decision. You're gonna have to wait until the end of the video to find out what it is. Just kidding. So I'm making a decision here. The decision is that every video is gonna be started with a hard hitting question. Hard hitting question for today is why in the do we have daylight savings time? Someone explain that to me. I am sitting here 6.35 in the evening. It's pitch black outside. How am I even supposed to live anymore in this wasteland that we call the world? Okay, I just can't get behind this idea. And this is a hard hitting question for me that I need someone to answer. What is the point in 2019? What is the point of daylight savings? Because all I know is that it's extremely dark outside and I feel like it's time to go to bed and it's 6, 637 PM. It's just time to comment. Someone explain to me, here's what I want. Here's what I really want from you guys. If you're a viewer right now and you're like, man, I'm going to tell Combs all about what's up with daylight savings. I want you to right now go in the comments and explain to me why we have daylight savings, but with wrong answers only. If you give me the right answer, I'm going to ignore your comment. I don't actually know what the right answer is, so you might be able to trick me, but wrong answers only. All right. Wrong answers only why we got daylight savings. All right. <sighs> this video is going to be about fear of the darkness. Beginners fear the darkness. That's all. <gasps> There's a cockroach in my house. It got away. Cockroach got away. I'm shook. I'm gonna find it on my chest tonight while I'm sleeping. That's happened to me before, so. Let's start this video. Oh. All right, all right. So here we are, here we are. So we're gonna talk about Fear the Darkness. And I want to talk about this. A lot of people, I feel like I say that every time, half of my videos are because you guys request them. So thanks for the request. If you have any other requests, please put them in the comments because I'm kind of running a little dry on ideas recently. So Fear the Darkness, okay? Where do we start? Well, we start in Fear the Darkness. So what is Fear the Darkness? I'm gonna just start at the basics. I want you guys to, you know, you guys always tell me that I go, I, I assume you know too much when I start these videos. So Fear the Darkness, super basically what it is is to the mode that you complete to unlock ultron okay, okay well how do you what is what's the point of wanting to unlock ultron well ultron's the best character in the game right now he can just do so much damage and utility because he, he summons minions that heal he can cleanse stuff on his basic gives energy to himself he can do all these big abilities it just it, he's very very strong and we can take a peek at him. It's just, it's it's a very hard mode. So I'm gonna click start. It doesn't really matter. I'm not gonna play this again. But basically when you go in here, okay. So when you finish it, you get Ultron. So if you click on it, you come in here. Okay, so you get a bunch of these items. So you already knew that. Like you get these from Enter the Darkness. Uh, some of these are really, really good. And um, some of them are just kind of like, you have thousands of them or hundreds of them. So I mean, there's a lot of these, like I have 6,000 of these guys. I don't know that I would ever need that many, but I guess later gear levels, I'm not really sure. I mean, hundreds and hundreds. So I have a lot of these just from orbs and stuff as well. 
And then, so this stuff is like, this is like crafted stuff. So you get 18 of these. And a lot of these, I mean, you have, and you can just use kind of like, you use them later on when you're getting to like tier 13 and beyond. You play this mode, you unlock Ultron, okay? Ultron's amazing, like we already talked about. So you'll unlock him. And then when you play through it for the second time, then you are able to get him to seven star. Pending, I'll give you some tips on that as we get into it. But looking here, the way that you start this mode, you need five tier 13 characters. So for example, with me right now, you can see requires tier 13. I have a couple right now, a good few, not a million, but enough. Um, I've played this mode a long time ago. It seems like, feels like almost an eternity ago. Uh, we streamed it, I don't know. <laughs> if you guys were here for that, uh, leave a comment for that one because um, that was pretty fun back in the day when we used to stream this I would get so mad and people would just have to coach me through it because it, it can be a bit of a frustrating mode just because of the way it's designed to be but I remember back in the day when I did it what team did I even use I know what team I used so we used our good boy Nicholas here and <laughs> we started off with Mordo because we didn't have Minerva initially that was pretty funny those were pretty funny times so we did that and it was just it was it was funny um, we didn't have, like I said, we didn't have Minerva at the time because it was a struggle. It was a real struggle. So this is what the team looked like at the time. Then Mordo, I took him in cause I had big red stars and his unique ability or his unique, um, gear was not that hard to get. I had a ton of it. And so this is what the team that I ended up using once I got Minerva in looked like. Uh, this team I considered to be very strong, very good. And then when I got Ultron, I went ahead and I removed Groot and I put in Ultron occasionally, depending on the node. I took out Nick Fury and I put in Ultron. It just kind of depended on what was really going on, but it was much easier going through the second round because Ultron's amazing. So all that said, that was my team. I uh, there is a lot of different teams that you can use, honestly, but all of them have Minerva and Star Lord from what I see. Some have Juggernaut and Magneto. I think that those two those are incredible. Some teams use Phoenix, other teams use Captain Marvel. I've seen a lot with Shuri recently because of her defense up and energy that she grants, and then some of the healing. It just depends on what you might have the uniques for, what you might have big red stars for. I feel like that's what I end up saying in all of my videos. You guys always comment and you're like, so basically whatever you have red stars for. Kind of. Um, that's kind of how the game works now. You're probably wondering, well, okay, so how do I get to the gear 13? A lot of people ask me that too. So, I mean, basically you have these unique gears in the store. So like, for example, this would be for Star-Lord. You need 12 of these. And I already have him at tier 13. So I'm just buying and saving them right now for uh, tier 14. But so I have 12 of those for him and that's what you need. And then you'll be able to bump them up. And when you bump up the characters, then you go from there. You know what I mean? So you go from 12 and you, you know, enter the darkness typically gives this other orange gear, yellow gear, and you're already ready to go. So you can get them and you can be right here. So I don't want to use this for him because this gear is what you use for Minerva. And I'm assuming that she's going to continue to be extremely important moving forward in PVE. So I'm saving this because you need 24 to take somebody up to tier 14. And these are so hard to come by. So I'm saving them. Anyways, we're kind of off on a tangent there. When it comes to the gear, I always buy all of it, not all of this. Definitely don't recommend that. You will run out of gold very quickly. But anything that's a unique, I always buy from the store. Always, 100% of the time. Just because they're hard to find. You never know what you might need. If I wasn't buying the gear for Mordo, I wouldn't have him at tier 13. And he is amazing. And now you can use him with Supernatural Team. So I definitely don't regret that. But it's like, you just need to be buying this stuff. It does end up costing a lot of gold. I mean, these cost 72,000, I believe, each time you buy them. And now if I just have 12 sitting here that I'm really not using anything for right now, that is really close to, it's a little over 860,000 gold. And that's just with this. I have probably about 10 plus on almost every one of them that I'm not using right now. I even I have 20 of those ones for Minerva. And so that's again, you know, that's more than double that. So, I mean, I have millions and millions of gold invested in these gears. So maybe you don't want to do that. Maybe you can look at a list. There are a lot of graphics. I have one pinned in my discord. So if you guys are not on discord, 
I always say this because I think it's so helpful. Uh, join my Discord and you guys can see the graphic in there or just ask me about it and I send it to you because I have it saved on my phone. I used to look at it all the time. I mean, it, the, the gear, that's kind of like, that's the gateway, right? Because I don't know, it, it's a real pain. It's hard because it's random. And I know that like you can get it out of like the orbs here, the war orbs. I only recommend always buying these. A lot of people buy the purple ones but I don't recommend that at all. I always recommend buying these ones because you'll always need this and it's hard to get. Now you can also get it from the war store. It's kind of hard to say which ones you should buy from here and which ones you shouldn't because for example, so I always buy them from there. Typically, I obviously don't have enough money right now or enough currency, but like I have Nobu finished and I have Carnage finished and I have Pyro finished. So there's not really much left for me to farm from here. Like I'm not gonna farm Cable from here. I'm not gonna farm Ravenger Bruiser from here. That would be just foolish. There's no reason for me to do that. But then like even with these, like so I have 15 of these. So if you just look at purely the gold cost, then again, that's millions. That's over a million. So like, again, I have millions and millions of currency. My cat caught the cockroach, just in case you're wondering. So, but I have millions and millions invested in this stuff. I don't regret it, but also like sometimes I do, especially when I look at like the superior Artemis, which is something that's used for only Hydra characters. Now, when, if Hydra gets a rework and Red Skull needs that, I'm not going to regret it. You know, I'm not going to be upset then at the time that I've done that. But until the meantime, it's kind of just like, like it's, it's hard because you're just sitting on all of this gear and just, you know, I could really use gold. I would love to be able to level up my Colson and everybody else that I'm working on right now. It'd be really great to be able to level them up. But you know, it is what it is. We, you make decisions, you make choices. That's how this type of game works. It's a uh, resource management. So you figure out what looks good for you, but that is the way to get that gear once you are at the point where that appears in the store, which is level 65. So you come into this mode and essentially, a lot of these nodes are not very hard. You do have a couple that you do need to look out for and they are this node, Miss Marvel was really, really hard and Deadpool was really, really hard. And then the final node is really, really hard. Now, those are the only nodes that I really ran into any trouble on. I was pretty lazy and just went through this mode very slowly, but for the most part, I just kind of like blasted through them. And I mean, they're a pain because you have to just, you have to play it and it takes a long time. I don't like that. I think that's kind of annoying because they just have so much health and you just have to like kind of keep uh, um, like a rotation going. So it's like, okay, like I know I don't want to use my Star Lord's ability on this guy. I want to use it on this guy. So you can't put it on auto because you do have to intentionally play it. And that gets a little old because it's just, I don't know, it, it can get irritating because it's just like, I don't want to sit here and play this because it's not hard. It just is time consuming, which is kind of the problem that this game has, I think, is just being far too time consuming. But with this, I mean, you do it for a little bit, like a few days, maybe two weeks, um, unfortunately. And um, then you're done with it. You don't have to do it again. Now, granted, you can play this mode. You can play through this up to 15 times. The additional rewards beyond Ultron are just, it's like a frame for your, I guess your portrait. So like you could see like this is different than this than this. So they're different. And so I don't even think that's 50, that I guess that's 15 times through. I'm really not sure. I don't really know which is which. I don't care. I beat it twice to get Ultron and said never again. That's the point of Fear the Darkness. That's how you get started in it. And you just go through it. I mean, you just grind. When I had Ultron, I could put it on auto and it would just blow. It would just go through the nodes. I don't want to say it would blow through because it definitely didn't blow through. But I put it on and I think I played through the first nodes all the way to Deadpool on auto i didn't even touch my phone and then i played through this one because it's kind of weird and then auto 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 and then i got to this one i kind of had to play it a little bit it was a pain in the butt and then all the way got to this one this one's hard that one's just a pain because ultron's so strong and the way they have it set up but pretty much like you're able to auto most of it and it's it's crazy i mean on autos taking my, like took me like 20 minutes or so to get it done like per node, like 15, 20 minutes and my phone would just be on auto, just going. And it would get really, really hot and my battery would drain, but I just did it while I was at work and I just put my phone in my pocket and it worked. So that's a nice thing, at least. There's plenty of guides on like each node on YouTube. I'm not gonna do them because uh, like I said, I have no intentions of ever playing this mode ever again. It's miserable. And that's pretty much, in my opinion, that's pretty much all that there is to it. It's simple, but it's a pain to get into. You know what I mean? So probably what you're gonna wanna, what you're gonna be asking is like, well, what teams do I wanna use for this? And so here's what I can tell you. You have like staples, 
So you want to use Minerva 100% of the time. 100% of the time Minerva, doesn't matter what star she's at. I used her, she was at, I think, three stars when I used her. So three stars and you just want to use her because she's the best healer. And then she's also able to use like her alt. It drains like a percentage of health. I want to say it's 25, but let's see. 15, okay, whatever. So it takes 15 percent of their health well these dudes have millions and millions of health so 15 percent is a lot and it's a full heal for your entire team every time as long as there's a couple dudes on the field because it's so much so that amazing you really have to have that i would say after that you really have to have star lord because he gives energy a lot of times he just gives so much energy and it's just crazy um and you need it because if you set them the way i had them set up you have star lord on the corner and then whenever next to him so he's giving energy to her and then that way she's able to use her abilities more often she can revive if you need to but otherwise it like just, just keeps going keeps going keeps going you know what i mean so like that's pretty important um i used nick fury and shield security because that's really such a good 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 just like taunting combo shield security will taunt when anyone gets low health and then he gets defense up from that taunt with nick fury works out amazing but i also know some people have taken captain america in for their tank some people use magneto and juggernaut um, i've heard that that team actually works really well as magneto and juggernaut because you can get the healing from minerva and it gives good damage I mean, it just, it depends. At the end of the day, it depends on what you have. I've seen Shuri because she gives a lot of defense up. I mean, the defense up is going to help you a lot. I've seen people do Defenders. I've seen people do Thanos. I've actually seen people do Ronin because of his cleansing, which is pretty crazy. And he just goes in there and he clears the negative side effects from all allies. The summons are pointless. But, well, and that's actually not true. I take that back. The summons are good because when they die, the Minerva heals and gets a little bit of turn meter. So it's really interesting the different combinations that you can use. It just depends on, you know, really what you want to go in with. But I would uh, I would say before putting any of these unique uh, orange gears on anybody, I would say just talk to some other people who've been through the mode before saying, yeah, I'm going to do this. But like you, just, you should talk to somebody first, you know, like just in case I would I really just say talk to somebody and then that way you can just you can know for sure and be like okay like this is a good idea or this is a bad idea i'm not sure that it, it worked out you know what i mean so there's always people who've done this before you at this point a lot of people have gone through it and that's pretty much it so i don't know if this helps you guys i hope it does i hope this is the type of video you are all looking for i really feel like this covers the mode i think it answers the questions that i've gotten if it does not please just comment the questions and i will respond to them if i know the answer but this is what i think is the appropriate and helpful information for this mode so that's really just that's what i've got for you guys make sure to uh, subscribe to the channel almost at 5,000, and uh that's amazing just like you are all amazing then uh, leave a like on the video if you like it. You can see, maybe this will be a, a really well-received video. Get a bunch of likes. And I'm um, looking forward to all your comments that you're going to have. So make sure to uh, join Discord. We got all these important links in the description below. We got Clan HQ in there too. We got some good stuff. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's some good stuff coming. So thank you guys. Much love. That's it. See you later.